the American ambassador to Thailand, Christy Kenny, is, I think, the most uh, social media savvy diplomat in town. Um, maybe also the, the UK ambassador as well. Yes, okay. but the uh, American ambassador today decided to go on the Twitter and to answer all the questions this yeah. morning. Uh -huh. yes. So you were there too? I monitored the timeline. I sent one quick, uh, one question. Yes. Yeah. Did she answer your question? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take it personally. <laughs> so, what kind of questions did she get today? Um, it's so politically dominated uh, uh, forum this morning because yeah. uh, it uh, it was taking place just one day after mm -hmm. the Thai U.S. citizen Joe Gordon was sentenced to two and a half years yes. in uh, Thai prison. Yes, on Les Majesty, right? Yes, uh, regarding the book. The King Never Smile, uh -huh. uh, that he translated into uh, and, and put the translation on the website. Okay, so and in the, the United States, he was the the, the 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 issue was that he was doing it in the U.S., not in Thailand. I see. Uh -huh. uh, so how did the ambassador she react got to all that? sort of questions and and basically she said that uh, she the the embassy would continue to support him to visit him in prison mm -hmm. to give him any assist uh, mm -hmm. as much assistance as the embassy can well because that's a duty i think of the embassy for right. <clears throat> the citizens of your country mm -hmm. uh, if he or she is sentenced or even charged mm -hmm. then he or she has a right to seek help from right. the local embassy Right, mm -hmm. and and I, I also uh, the ambassador got a question, a sort of questions mm -hmm. about uh, human rights issues <laughs> in Thailand. <laughs> yeah. Article um, uh, one, uh, one, 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 two, and uh -huh. uh, less majesty, of course. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And she was asked, "What do you think about one, one, two? Yeah. <laughs> and I, for for a moment, I thought that she was not going to answer that, but finally, she she did. Well, she had to because she must have been prepared for this kind of mm -hmm. questions when she decided mm -hmm. to go on Twitter for a chat with uh, whoever. She must have expected that. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what did she say about that? Um, she said that uh, <coughs> personally she had high respect for the Thai monarchy, mm -hmm. but she was troubled mm -hmm. by uh, prosecutions that were inconsistent mm -hmm. with international standards. Mm. You know, I suspect that she had written that up before. Wow. So it's so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very diplomatic. It is basically the principle is there. Mm -hmm. At the same time, she does not want to intrude into the local judicial process. Right. See? Mm -hmm. So she. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. And did, did the you know, people on Twitter press her for more detail, right. more specific uh, she, answers? She, she, she got some sarcastic uh, feedback also. Mm -hmm. For example, one person mm -hmm. asked about. What do you think about Occupy Wall Street? <laughs> that you know, the, we, we use that. There, there was uh, a little use of force to mm -hmm. to move the protest. To yeah, the yeah. Human and rights, like freedom of speech. Right, and some and someone asked her, "What about uh, human rights in other planets? Yeah. What, what do you think about? <laughs> will the U.S. Uh, be be concerned about that too, or uh -huh, something like that?" Uh -huh. So she was kind of very cool and very collected. Right, and uh, also we have a student asking about visa, and we have mm -hmm. some uh, mm -hmm. people interested in Thailand asking about her uh, Thai class yeah. and Thai food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and someone asked her whether she has adopted a, uh, adopted a test for Turian. <laughs> 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 and she, she said, you tried uh, she, uh, not, uh, apparently not yet. She, she, she said not yet. So and she doesn't know the test of Durin mm -hmm. yet. And she was asked, uh, what, <coughs> what is the most difficult language in the world? Uh -huh. And she said, without a thought, Thai language. <laughs> it's the most difficult. It's the most difficult. <laughs> so it was a full hour of a uh, Twitter interview. One hour interview, and it's very unprecedented. And I think it, it's a good because. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Three or four years ago, we will have to wait for the embassy to <coughs> to, <coughs> to get make, an appointment, to, to get an appointment, yes. and to get some uh, basically reaction to what happened yesterday to Joe Gordon. But oh yeah, today pe uh, people can ask her mm -hmm. anything about the case. Mm -hmm. And you know, she tweeted about this interview on Twitter only this morning. She didn't give you any advance notice. Uh, we know, we knew about it. Uh, really? Uh, yesterday, uh, a lot of people uh, tweet about this uh, incoming oh. session. With so the she, she decided to do it uh, on her own. No one has asked her, her for that. 
Right. Um, <coughs> I, I saw mm -hmm. that a tweet uh, mm -hmm. mentioning this uh, incoming uh, mm -hmm. from with her. Uh, so are you expecting other ambassadors to do the same, other cabinet members to do the same? Uh, well, actually, uh, we, we had <coughs> a similar discussion with the UK ambassador recently. On Twitter? Uh, on, on the social media, uh, mm -hmm. including the, the Facebook. Yep. Yeah. But uh, when the flood <coughs> came, it was, it was uh, overshadowed by that. Uh -huh. So we hope, you know, we did that with the former prime minister could appease it before, so maybe this government would want to open up social media space and get uh, the prime minister to give reporters, the public, an interview on Twitter or Facebook. That would be really interesting.